Hi and welcome. I'm Bjorn Jacobson and this is Kujo Sound Widener's Trash and my Unity series. And we have just touched upon snapshots in the mixer and we're about to move on to create some sort of prefab so that we can use this for, um, for lots of things. A prefab is in Unity something that's really useful. We have our audio collider trigger over here. Now if you drag and drop that into your project here, it will automatically create an audio collider trigger prefab. Now a prefab is prefabricated material. Um, it's the same as a, as a sort of a template that you can use. So you can basically, instead of working in the level, you can create your own level, create a prefab that does what you want it to do and then use it over and over and over again. So you create your own tool. And we're gonna be spending a little bit of time on that. Now the problem about it becomes when um, if you alter a prefab uh, then you every place you've used this prefab is now dependent on the chain change that you've just made so if you break the prefab then you you may break your entire game so be careful with that um, now we're going to make a prefab where it's just going to fade between two snapshots and we're going to set it up so that we can walk through a door and it'll automatically track like that. Um, so let's, let's remove this whole thing here. We have saved this as a, as a prefab. So we're going to make a new one and we have our game, a game object here, which we're going to place here in the middle of the level. We are going to call it. We are going to call it our our audio snap change prefab. Our audio snap change prefab. Let's call it that. And we're going to add a cube to it. And we are going to remove mesh so that we can't see it. Good. Here we are. We will make it bigger. this so now it covers practically half of our of our plane here so we can walk into it and we can walk out of it again now on this we want a on this cube we want a script and we are going to call it audio snap snap prefab script and here we are we are going to put in using unity engine unity engine dot audio so that we are sure that this works and we want just like before in the previous example, we are going to add a public audio mixer snapshot called inside collider and a public audio mixer snapshot outside collider. We're going to do that. And down here we have a void on trigger enter. And this one will say inside collider dot transition to underscore. And actually we want this to be public as well. So we'll, we'll make a public float, which is a float value. A float value of, we'll call it transition in time we need a capital T transition in time and we're going to make a public float called transition out time good so once we enter our collider here we enter the collider we want it to become to transition into the inside collider snapshot by a time scale of transition in time.
time. Good. And we'll do the same thing for for leaving the collider. So on trigger exit. Here we go. So we're gonna do outside collider dot transition to underscore transition out time. Now this means that when we enter the collider, we will transition to the inside collider that we choose. And when we leave, we'll transition to the outside collider as well. So we can alter, we can have different time frames, different transition times, depending on which one we go through. Um, so let's, let's try and see if this works over here. We have our collider here and we're going to add both these sounds to this prefab here. Good. We're going to say that this is in a position of zero, zero, zero. Same with this one. It's in position zero, zero, zero. The thing is that they are children of this game object. So they will always be placed in this, in the same place as this one. Good. So they are now there. They are both 2D sounds. This sound here is one laboratory room, laboratory room tone, and the other one is a different laboratory room tone, recorded out at Novo Nordisk in Copenhagen, north of Copenhagen. Um, so on our cube, we will call this the collider, so that we know that this has a script. And our inside collider snapshot is going to be this inside collider and it's going to be the outside collider because we still have these snapshots here in our mixer. So this star here means that this is the snapshot that it will start at. And we don't want that because we know that he's going to start outside of the collider. So we're going to right click and set this to be start at. So it will start with this mix. And once we go into the collider, we're, it's gonna be like this. So both these sounds, they play on awake and they should be looping. Let's try it out. So as you can see, the outside collider snapshot is chosen to start with because we've chosen it to be the start snapshot. You can see it because it's grayed out here, but you can also tell because the inside collider um, fader is turned down and the outside collider is up where it should be. So if we choose our collider here where we have our script, you can see that if we walk into the collider, it will switch to the inside collider snapshot, which we have chosen. We also have our public transition time here that we have chosen also in the code. So if we set that to, let's say, five seconds, we should be able to hear a five second transition, which is way too long because they won't fail linear. So it won't be very pretty, but you get the point. So when we if we leave it again, it should switch from inside collider to outside collider. Now, the reason why this doesn't fade very elegantly is simply because, first of all, our transition time is too long, but also because this here shouldn't be all the way down uh, in this case. So let's go here and let's say if we go to inside collider, it should be around there. So now we're here. And it's a two second transition. We'll walk into it here. Ah, wait, I need to switch off edit and playback. So if you do these elegantly enough with the correct transition time and the correct mixes between these, you can have them fade seamlessly. Uh, it also means that if you have an ambience that is built up from 
various sounds uh, instead of just one sound like this we have here so so you could have like one drone and maybe one wind sound and they can play at the same time and then when you go into another room you can have a slightly different mix then the room can use the same assets but change style change atmosphere in there um so what we're going to do now is that we're going to make this into a prefab and we're going to try something nice about it um the collider here we're going to change the size of it so that it's just like this and we're going to add a 3d object a new plane let's turn it around like this let's say it's a 90 degree plane like this we want it changed in size so that it's just like a small wall here we are so we're going to put a small wall here we're duplicate we're going to duplicate it so that it goes here now we have like what we would call a small door between these two rooms here okay so just made a bit of a hack changing these walls here just duplicated the walls and just basically turned them around so now we can see the two walls here and we can have our character walk through these doors we'll basically just call it a door okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to take our collider here and we, you can do it in one way for example you can say that this collider here needs to be placed so that it just touches here and it fills out this room here like that so now we basically have a room where when you go into the collider you are inside that room so if we go into our prefab here and then say it's not the inside collider we'll just call it we'll just call it um in room and we'll just call this in open and we'll call this one here in room and this here will be in open like that because that's easier to understand so if we go here now you'll see that we are in these rooms um, let's try and make some some mixes out of these two sounds and we'll see how it goes but actually we need to set these snapshots again here so in room gets the inside collider snapshot and this one here gets the outside collider snapshot good and we need a one second change between these two and the sounds are already sent to it like this so we can try and do a a mix in edit mode here play and awake both of them so that's the outside collider and this here's inside collider like this So it just changes briefly between these two values like this good so we'll stop editing in, in edit mode and when we walk through this door it's going to work so now we're outside and now we're in the room which means that you can add effects and tons of things to this now the interesting part is that let's say you have a level where you have tons of all these rooms 
what you can do is that you can go to your project here and you can save your prefab here you can drag and drop it here so every time you have a door opening on a level you can just drag and drop it over and then it works so that's one way of doing it if you create this audio collider snapshot change snapshot prefab here which in our case just changes from let's say like this outside snapshot to the inside room snapshot that's one way of doing it but the whole power of this prefab is that what if you had two colliders one on each side of the door and you can tell it whenever you go into either side of the room it should change to one of these you can then add this prefab to the door prefab so that some level design graphics guy or whatever made it made that door you can add your colliders your uh, snapshot collider prefab to it which means that automatically every door on your level would now have this prefab so you can click every door on the level and just drag and drop which snapshot you want onto there making it super easy to run around the level and create a nice fading in and out ambient mixer um in this case here we have one ambient mixer but then you can create another mixer which is for all your your um, your hero sounds and all your npc sounds and all your ui sounds and things like that so they don't interfere with one another but you can create very complex mixing out of these snapshots with ambiences only and you can also even expand the script a little bit in here by turning on and off the sounds that you don't want the ones that are not playing so that you don't spend spend uh, computer power running these noises that you're not using using that's it for the prefab session hope you enjoyed it